Hello friends, welcome to Lug Life and welcome to sunny and beautiful Mazatlan, Mexico. Our first time here for both Sherry and myself. Yep. We're gonna get off the ship and explore, but we do wanna grab a little bit of food, grab some coffee first. We are out here on deck seven at the rear of deck seven aft. You'd think after 12 cruises, I knew it was called aft. Well. <laughs> Let me show you our first glimpse of Mazatlan though. <laughs> So here is what we see as we walk outside. Looks like the main town area up there, very pretty. Also, this area we're in now, kind of a hidden gem. We've been hunting for it. We have been hunting for this area because we knew it existed. We finally found it. So it is this little sort of hidden deck area. Again, come out, deck seven aft, and there is this, and I'm not sure what side of the ship this is on. I starboard, port, fleet, I don't know. I don't know that either. Deck seven, it's on one of the sides. And actually, can we walk all the way back here? Yep, had no idea that this area existed. Look at this, we are now all the way at the back of the ship. Okay, this is awesome. I'm glad we finally found this area. There's a little bit more of Mazalan. You can see we're gonna be getting off over there on that side of the ship. But Sherry Beth, what do you say we go get some coffee, get some breakfast snacks, and uh, head off? Do it. For breakfast this morning, we just grabbed a few things from the International Cafe in the Piazza, the atrium. Sherry Beth got a lemon Danish and then Super like a broccoli, broccoli and cheddar egg muffin. Yum. They actually had like three different kinds of egg muffins. It did. It does look really good. I went with some pineapple and then a couple, these are ham, egg and cheese, little like roll ups. And I got a bottle, I know what's wrong with my voice. <laughs> <laughs> and then I got a bottle of water and Sherry's got her coffee on the way. Got a table here with a beautiful view of the atrium. And I finally figured out what the chandelier looks like. It reminds me of a school of fish swimming together. And then all of these remind me of that as well. So we just got off the ship here in Mazalan. The weather feels great, at least in the shade. And now we're gonna get on one of these trams, because you can see it's kind of an industrial port area. So we're gonna get on a tram and it's gonna take us to kind of the main town area. Sherry, this is Mazatlan. Is it what you, is it what you expected? <laughs> it does look like the port of Anchorage. Here we are, the port of Mazatlan Cruise Terminal. So when you walk into the cruise terminal building, they have lots of shops. This is actually really nice. Oh, I see hot sauce, hot sauce, coffee, and vanilla. What more could you want? Okay, very cool. And then you walk outside, and there's like a little courtyard area. Looks like we got a little bar over here. And then uh, authentic Mexican music provided by the Beach Boys. Um, the Seahawks, that's the greatest thing I have seen yet. So we are in the historic district here in Mazatlan. Um, when we left the little cruise area, we grabbed the taxi which brought us right here for 10 American dollars. Did I haggle? Nope. <laughs> I thought it was worth it to get us here. It's about a mile away from uh, where we are, or where we were, and there's a few things you really wanna to see today. The Basilica, which is right behind us, the cathedral, it looks beautiful. Yeah. We're gonna go explore that. There's also a theater around here, a market. Um, everything I read said that if you have one place to see in Mazatlan, Go to the old town, go to the historic district. So that's where we are. Let's go check it out. Here's the outside of the building. We will get a better full shot of it when we leave. But as always, when we go into religious spaces, um, we're gonna be respectful when we go in there, so we're not gonna narrate the vlog as we go, but we are gonna show you what the inside looks like.
We just left the Basilica. That we try to go to churches kind of wherever we travel. Mm -hmm. It's one of the things that we really love. Yep. This, one of the most beautiful I think we've ever gone to. I would put it up there where it's like the Parisian churches. I agree. One of the things yeah. that I loved was up front they had this red and green stained glass and just the light that it cast down. Onto the chandelier. It was so pretty. As we were driving up this statue was actually one of the things that I saw first outside of the church. So beautiful. And Sherry just saw something. <laughs> they got dragons yeah, on the light posts. <laughs> and there you go. There's a full view. Look how beautiful that is. I love the bells up there in the towers. My gosh. And then this is the little market area right across the street from the Basilica. We're in this little gazebo here like wrought iron that is so pretty. I also really love, whoa. Well, I love that. I also love the Feliz Navidad stuff still up on buildings. I bet this during the Christmas season was beautiful at night with all of the lights above lit up. You can see they still have the nativity set up over here. We just found a bank and grabbed some pesos. Now we are walking over to an old theater. Whoa, Sherry almost tripped and died. Please don't die in Mazalon. Uh, so far, I have to say, I'm really enjoying Mazalon. Pretty. I love the colorful buildings. I do bet it's really pretty at night because you see a lot of the streets that have the like bistro lights. Another thing that's actually been really helpful is they have a bunch of like tourist volunteers that are wearing blue shirts kind of all in the downtown area. And if you have questions, you can stop and ask them. Like we were like, are we going the right way? Where's, Where's the closest? The bank? And they were like right behind you. Yeah, and so <laughs> super helpful to have people to help us get around the city that we've never been to before. Look at how great this is. Little street side cafes. I love the coloring on the buildings, the different tile work. Walking around, we found another park. Looks like they have a Christmas tree up over there. Well, we made it down to the Christmas tree. And it's a cool little area. You can see we have just different shops. Sherry taking photos. More of these little cafes. There's live music down there. I don't know what I expected from Mazalon, but this is way better than I expected. Look, we even found Albert Einstein with a bird on his head. <laughs> Little coffee shops. Oh my gosh, elotes. Oh, uh, those are one of our favorites. Also, what's a giant ice cream cone? Oh, look at the flavors they have: vanilla, chocolate, lemon, mango. Yum. We found a little art shop and jewelry store. Uh, Sherry's pointing out these are oil painted copper. I don't know if it's going to show up on camera, but the, just like the detail on them. So beautiful. So this is the theater, the Angela Peralta Theater. Uh, one of the few 19th century theaters still in operation in Northwest Mexico. Uh, they do tours every now and then. I think the tours are 20 pesos a person. And you do need to have exact change to go in. So if we can make change somewhere, maybe we'll come back to the tour. We found the most amazing little courtyard. Uh, kind of off the main walk area. I think it's actually part of a hotel. I can't totally tell, but we got this table right over here. Look at how amazing all this is. What do you think, Sherry? It's beautiful. We ordered a couple of margaritas because when in Mexico, we've got a couple of bottles of water as well, and we ordered some guacamole that will be here in just a little bit. Sherry doing Sherry things. Our guacamole is here, and it is beautiful. beautiful. Look, it came with tortilla chips, it came with tostadas, and it came with packages of crackers. What? This is too perfect. Also, can confirm the margaritas. Uh, Delicious. Yeah, they're really good. So as we were paying our bill, um, so the place that we're eating is like a restaurant and hotel. Right. And the guy, I got the impression, I don't know if he's the manager or the owner, super nice we were talking to. Yeah. He was like, oh, you've got to go to the back before you leave and check it out. I've got a hot tub back there. And he's also building a rooftop bar. Yeah. And you guys look at this. So pretty. I just 
I want to jump in. As you can see, these are probably some of the hotel rooms. This is the name of the place. Uh, he says he has 18 rooms for rent. So whether you're visiting Mazatlan, uh, kind of on vacation to stay, or if you're looking for a place just to grab some great priced margaritas, some just really good food in a beautiful setting, uh, we super recommend this place. Again, here's that beautiful main kind of courtyard area. And he said that he's the one who made the tree, put everything in there. So beautiful. And I think this is the staircase that will go up to the rooftop bar. Then you have like the check-in area for the hotel right here. This is what it looks like from the outside. This is where we stopped and cannot recommend it enough. The food is great, environment, people, perfect stop. Yep. How about we had lunch? We actually just grabbed a mango ice cream as well. And we bought two tickets to go tour uh, the theater. Again, it was 20 pesos each. So let's go check it out. Okay. That's why uh, the authorities decide put the name of Angela Peralta. Beautiful. So this theater was built in the 1860s and it is absolutely stunning. The capacity, I think she said, was about 800 people and it is just gorgeous. We're the only ones in here who are on this tour. You can see they're doing a little bit of work in the theater, but it is, we've got the main floor and then like the three balconies. So here is the main entrance. All right, let's talk about the theater. Mm -hmm. um, so it was 20 pesos each, so 40 pesos for both of us to go in. Mm -hmm. And we were the only two in there with our guide. Yeah. Uh, it was stunning. It was beautiful in there. She told us the history of it and um, how they had to rebuild it after a hurricane destroyed it. Um, and yeah, they, just beautiful. When they rebuilt it, they rebuilt the roof as concrete to withstand mm -hmm. future hurricanes. Uh, so yeah, so built in the 1860s and then rebuilt again, I think in the 1970s, 800-ish uh, seats. 1990s. 1992. The 1990s? 1992 was when it reopened. I apparently did not pay enough attention. <laughs> Um, really beautiful. Named after yeah. Angela Peralto. Angela was a soprano. Yep, soprano who was born in Mexico City, mm -hmm. but who I think died here. Yeah. Um, they said that she played the piano, played the harp, and was also a composer. Mm -hmm. And um, it was it was really beautiful. Of course, beautiful. we're we're theater people, yeah. and so to get to see a fully restored old theater from the 1800s. Yeah, she said the theater is now um, basically a national landmark. Yeah, it's unlike in the United States. We have like kind of space landmark. yeah mm -hmm. in in the united states we have like the national register of historic places mm -hmm. think that for here yeah um yeah and we got to see it we got to see it, it was I, beautiful in there it was really beautiful between the cathedral um the <laughs> the theater and then just like the colorful streets mazatlan is amazing so I'm far a fan. i am yeah. a fan <laughs> and one of the things she told us is that right next door is basically an art school uh, which I really love next to the theater. She showed us one of the art workshops, which was really cool. She said it's everything from painting to sculpting to music, ballet, ballet all of that. We were walking down one of the streets and we saw <laughs> this little like shop down a little alleyway. So we turned down, look at everything, and it just keeps going. We keep finding the most beautiful spaces. At home we have this little shelf with just kind of small little figurines, things that we have found kind of in our travels around the world. And we love this. Look how great this is. In the back, it says Mexico. So this is what we saw. We were walking by and we looked down that hall and we're like, wait a second, is that a shop? And uh, we found exactly what we we're looking for. And we are back to where we started. To get back to the market by the ship, we are taking a Pomonia here. There is a market kind of right next to uh, where we were earlier when we got off the cruise ship that we are checking out now with lots and lots of booths. Oh man, I feel like Justin Zach would want that 49ers hat. <laughs> well, did a little bit of shopping, but did not do any buying. Now we're gonna walk up here and see, uh, see if there's anything 
over here before we head back to the ship. Just checking out a couple stores before I head back on the ship and the color of some of these stones are absolutely beautiful. Doesn't this look like something Sherry would wear? And I think we are ready to head back to the ship. We got a front row seat here on the tram back. You can see the Discovery Princess just peeking over the top of those containers over there. Did you have a good day? I'm glad. You can see when we get back to the ship, they've got fresh water, met us with cool towels, a little sitting area if you need. But for us, we're getting back on the ship after, gosh, what felt like a near perfect day in Mazalan. After a little bit of downtime in the stateroom, we are heading outside to the sunshine. We've each got our books, we've got our AirPods. Hopefully, we're going to find some chairs in the sun and uh, just relax a little bit. Because I think we have a couple of hours until the ship starts to pull away. We've got a couple loungers up here on deck 17. A little bit windy, but not too bad. You actually can see the basilica we went to earlier out there, along with the rest of Mazatlan. So much we did not get to explore this trip, but definitely a place we'd come back to. You see the sun getting ready to dip there behind the mountains saying one last goodbye to Mazatlan. I will say the port area right here is very industrial. Lots of vehicles, lots of cargo, that kind of stuff. But once you get past that, it's awfully pretty. And we have about 10 minutes until all aboard. And we still have trams coming up right down there with people on them. That is cutting it way too close for us. Well, when we were in Mazatlan, we didn't really eat anything. We had some guacamole and that was it. So we're kind of hungry, but we're also not sure what we're doing for dinner tonight. So we're gonna have a, an in-between snack. So we stopped at the sushi restaurant. You guys know we absolutely love, love, love sushi. And I think we're just gonna get a couple of things and uh, snack on this. The rolls are much bigger than I expected them to be, honestly. Um, I was expecting, yep, sure, but I thought they would be four pieces. Um, they're small pieces, but oh gosh. Um, I got a spicy tuna. I got one called the Tres Amigos. Sherry sure got a, what'd you get? Barbecue eel and Whoa. a mochi scallion. They just turned down the uh, <laughs> lights for the evening. Mood lighting. Yum. So that was the last one was what now? A mochi scallion, yellowtail. Yellowtail? Yeah. Very nice. So if you have the Princess Plus or Princess Premier, um, you get these. Actually, and this is crazy. So we have the Plus package. You can get two of these every single day. Or if you don't want this, you can get a slice of one of these that looks like this. Are you kidding me? They got the cakes right down there. So even though we get two of these a day, this is our first premium dessert ever on Princess. <laughs> we didn't use this at all on our last cruise. We haven't used it at all on this cruise, but we thought we should. And the decision was between those giant ice cream sundae things <laughs> and a piece of cake. We decided to start with a piece of red velvet cake, something we both like. It's ginormous. It's ginormous and we each get two of these a day. A day. We're splitting one, let's be clear. Crazy. We're looking for a cozy place just to hang out and we found this. Uh, this is the back Wakeview Bar. Wakeview Bar. It is all the way at the back of the ship, deck 16. Mm -hmm. Is that right, 16? Yep. And they got this nice little, just like comfortable seating area here. And over here you can see they have some tables because the buffet is right in there. But let me show you back here. I think I showed this area maybe in our first vlog of the series. But there's a couple things that I just saw that I think are kind of cool. Over here they've got a like coffee, hot water station. You can see tea, all of that stuff there. Milk right here. We got hot chocolate, decaf coffee. You can see here is the bar that's open to like 1045 he said. And look at this, almost. Like literally almost nobody. In fact, the Wakeview pool doesn't have a single person in it right now. And it's actually really nice outside. We thought we'd come check out the buffet tonight and uh, let me give you an example of what they have because uh, it's kind of impressive. We have a crepe station right here with lots of toppings and stuff. We have Italian food here. We have baked pasta, fusilli, ravioli. Looks like bolognese sauce, tomato sauce, alfredo sauce. 
Cheers point out we have a pesto sauce, olive oil, a bell pepper coulis, and over here we have Parmesan cheese, probably dried oregano would be my guess. Fresh basil leaves, some chili pepper. Over here, look at this, we have a ramen station. What? That's kind of fun. Over here we've got meats, cheeses, we got grilled mushrooms, grilled peppers, grilled tomato, grilled eggplant. And here we have lots more cheeses. We've got breads, we got turkey breast, ham, garlic bread. Just keeps going, Sherry. Oh my gosh, pita, hummus, quinoa, cucumber, eggplant, blue cheese dressing. And then we've got like guac, salsa, chips, sour cream. Over here is all the bread, sliced bread, soft rolls, crunchy rolls. Looks like we got focaccia right there. We got potato salad, Mediterranean pasta salad, creamy cucumber salad, coleslaw, sausage salad, Waldorf salad, Cajun peach salad. For soups, we have minestrone and clam chowder. Then we've got fried chicken. We have barbecue chicken wings. You can see the chicken wings there and then like a barbecue sauce here. Salmon cakes, Brussels sprouts, corn on the cob. Looks like probably sweet potatoes. And then you got like a burger bar with lots of different toppings, buns. We got hot dogs, we got chicken breasts, we got burgers, we got fries. Sherry Beth, there's a lot on the buffet tonight. <laughs> a lot going on. And I just realized I missed half of the entire buffet. So over here we got like a shrimp salad, grilled vegetables, cabbage, filet of fish. You can see we got a whole roasted turkey up here. There's brisket over there. There's pork loin over there. And then we get to all of the desserts. Look at all of these. And over here we've got apple crumble. Looks like with a vanilla sauce topping. And there's even more in case you were wondering. It just never ends. And then cookies and brownies. Okay, um, I've got to say, the last Princess Cruise we were on was on the... Grand. The Grand, which is mm -hmm. smaller and older ship. Mm -hmm. I've actually got to say that food um, between the newer and bigger Princess ships and the smaller and older ones is one of the biggest differences. I think so, too. So the buffet on the Grand was actually pretty lacking. A little underwhelming. It was really small. I didn't mm -hmm. feel like there were a lot of options. Yeah. I feel like on the newer ships, because I remember this with the Zachmans, there's just so much. Yeah, the buffet is huge on the newer ships. Like, it just keeps going. I mean, tonight, it's we have... It's not like a piece and then like a second part that's like just a repeat. Like, everything is different. Tonight alone, we had ramen, we had American food, we had Indian options, we had Italian food. Greek. Greek food. Like all sorts of taco bar. All sorts of salads, all yeah. sorts of like meats and cheeses. Um, so I've got to say, as far as food goes, uh, I think the Discovery and the Royal, <laughs> those bigger, newer princess ships, really are the way to go. I agree. All right, end of Mazatlan. Was this day three on our cruise? Is that right? I think that's when you know it's a good cruise. But what day, what month is it? <laughs> Does the things even exist outside this cruise ship? I don't know anymore. Um, today was a good day. Mm -hmm. Let's talk Mazatlan. Mazatlan is beautiful. Um, I never felt unsafe. Um, I never felt like we were really being pressured. We did have people like ask us for, you know, to buy their stuff. Um, but for the most part, if we were like, no, thank you, they would leave us alone. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it was a beautiful city. I'm glad that we kind of got out of just like the little port area yeah. and got to see like Old Town. I feel like Old Town was the perfect place for us. Mm -hmm. We love history stuff. We love like the old church, the theater, that kind of stuff. That's right up our alley. Yeah. Uh, discovering that little restaurant in that back secluded area. That was great. We got to talk to the owner or manager or something for a, a little bit. And um, he was super nice and super excited about the property. And <laughs> yeah. so, yeah. I feel like that was one of those meals. And it wasn't even a meal. like guacamole and margaritas. Right. But that we're going to talk about for the rest of our life. Yeah, it Just, was really good guacamole but just the setting the setting that's what it was, it was. just beautiful it was, very peaceful oh gosh it was just so nice um yeah. i don't feel like i've heard a ton about mazalon and mm -hmm. i don't know why like it was it, to me it was a hundred times better than cabo um mm -hmm. it was 
beautiful. It felt more historic. I loved all the colors of the building. You guys probably got sick of hearing me saying, look at all the colors, look at all the colors. Wow, the colors in the vlog. <laughs> it was so pretty. But though. it was so pretty. Um, and then back on the ship, just another good day. Found some spots to relax, found some spots to read. Yep. And so just, just overall a nice day. Had some sushi. We did have sushi, which was great. It was very yummy. Yeah, just another wonderful day. Uh, mm -hmm. Tomorrow we are in Puerto Vallarta. Mm -hmm. Did I say that right? <coughs> I have no idea. Probably not. I am a white guy from Alaska <laughs> who has never taken Spanish. No, it was really funny. Just a little um, side story. The lady that did the tour of the theater for us had on like a jacket and she asked yeah. us where we were from and we said Alaska and she said "Ooh, that's cold and I said yeah and you know we were really happy to be here where it's warm and she's like mm, it's cold here and I was yeah. like oh honey <laughs> it's, it's, this is not cold <laughs> today temperature wise was literally the perfect day yeah I got like it was a little warm kind of walking around but like not uncomfortably so but in the shade there was never a point where i was just like i'm i'm going to melt to death no not at all no i loved it my it gosh great. it was great so tomorrow um we have an excursion planned we are doing a uh tequila factory tour mm -hmm. and uh some market tour day starts early i think we have to meet at 8 a.m which is early for us so we actually <laughs> did the like room service breakfast card you put outside your door. Mm -hmm. um, they'll be here like at 7 to 7.30. <sighs> so we'll eat a quick breakfast in our room and then go meet our tour and go spend the day drinking tequila. And enjoying markets. And enjoying markets. Yeah. Uh, cannot wait. The weather looks like it's supposed to be nice again. And then after that we have two at sea days. <sighs> yes. This trip continues to be just amazing. So relaxing, so restful. The ship is unbelievable. Yeah. All of the things that we've said in all the past videos continue to be true. So friends, we love you and we'll see you on the next Leg Like video. Mm -hmm.